Hey, you, I need you to hit that subscribe button. Subscribe. Come, 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 sister. We're your brothers. We're your brothers. All right? You already got the hand cover on. I don't know if you knew it, but that means you, that, that you're ready to be taught. All praise to the Most High. So what we're talking about right now, sister, is what's pertinent to our people, which is the end of the world. Yeah. One brother walked by. We said the, the officer asked him, where the officer at? I need him to come back up here, too. Yo, Seth, when you find him. Um, the, uh, the brother was asking, uh, uh, it was a young man walking past, yeah. and he said, what's going on? Do you know what's going on in the world today? And he said, uh, no, do you know what's going on in Israel today? He said, no. Nah. You know what I mean? That's because we don't understand the Bible. All right? If, if, if the brother understood the Bible, which is his heritage, which is his heritage, which is, which is his uh, 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 book, which is his prophecy, which is his story, meaning the black man's story, all right? It ain't a, it ain't a, ain't a, a color thing. It is a race thing. Just like your photo book in your house is a race thing. You understand? We taught to be to look at that as taboo because it's been made taboo. A lot of race atrocities have happened to our people. So we that's a stigma to us hearing that. But this Bible has a chosen people, right or wrong. That's Israel, right? But we not taught that that people is us, the black race. We not taught. Go to Deuteronomy 28 and give me 60. We're going to start with 68. We not taught that that is in the Bible. So we don't have any connection to this book. We think this book is universal and it applies to everybody. We don't look at it like we look at our photo albums at home. Right? If a stranger come across, if, if say a Chinese man fly over here from China, and he walk up in your house and he take your photo album and he put his picture in there. He, he don't even put his, yeah, he put his picture in there. And now he teaching your kids and his kids. And yeah, this is your auntie, so and so, and this is your, that's crazy, right? Like, why would some, why would you want, why, what is wrong with you? Who would do that? But that's what's happened to our Bible. That's what's happened to our photo album, our heritage, our history book. That's what's happened. A lot of other people have gotten their hands on it, and they've perpetrated and purposed themselves in it. So now we're all confused. Because at one point, you would be put to death for reading. Right. And while that was happening, while that law was instituted for just you and your people, just you and your people, other things were being taught, such as this Bible belongs to everybody. Everybody's included in this. Now we're confused. Now we have our certain rights back to where we can read or certain liberties where we can read and we can do things like that. Now we all confused on the other side of that thing now. You see that? That's what's happened. Perpetration has happened to our people. Right? Watch this. This is in the Holy Bible, sister. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Uh oh. So now he said he gonna the Lord is gonna bring the Israelites, mm -hmm. the Israelites, into back into Egypt. Who came out of Egypt? It was the Israel. Who did Moses bring out of Egypt? The Israelites, right? So he said he's gonna send you back. Back into Egypt. That word Egypt, give me Exodus. That word Egypt is an old Latin word, I'm sorry, old Greek word, which means bondage. Right. Which means suffering, which means slavery. And the Bible tells you that. Watch this. Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. Uh -huh. I am the Lord thy God, uh -huh. which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, uh -huh. out of the house of bondage. Right. So now go back to Deuteronomy 28. Go back to now. He's on. We're on the outside of ancient Egypt, right? Which in in that time it wasn't called Egypt. In that time it was called the uh, Mizraim. So the Bible is literally telling you the house of bondage, slavery. I brought you out of slavery. Right. I brought you out of suffering. I brought you out of bondage. Right. Read it again, verse uh, sixty-eight. Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight, verse sixty-eight. Come on. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Again, now he's going to now it says the Lord is going to bring you into bondage or slavery again, but this time, come on, with ships. Uh oh, this time with slave ships. Right. Watch this, it's going up because maybe I'm making that up, maybe I'm just imposing my opinions in there. Read on by the way whereof I spake unto thee, where we were told that originally over in that other land, just coming out of Egypt, come on, thou shalt see it. 
no more again. You ain't going to see your homeland no more again. You're not going to see. So let's not be confused as to though he's talking about ancient Egypt. That's not what he's talking about. He said, we're not going to see that no more again. Not only that, do we need a ship to get there? No. Do we need a ship to leave? No. So he said, this time when I send you into slavery, I'm going to send you on ships. Read on. And there, when you get off of those ships, wherever those ships may dock, come on, ye shall be sold uh -oh. unto your enemy. When you get off those slave ships, you will be sold unto your enemies. There you have it. Teach. Cargo slave ships is what we came all over, where we were sold into slavery all over the world. You see these? These are, we didn't make these. That's these are actual photos. These right. are actual accounts. This is what the so-called white man or the one who put us in chains has cataloged for himself as history. That's right. he, this is his history. He did this. This is not our opinions. And it's in the Bible. And this is what we are not taught. This book ain't talking to nobody else. That's right. Nobody else went through that. Right. Nobody else. Give me verse 15. Watch this. Now, this is why we went into slavery. It wasn't just because God hate us or he mad at us. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Come on. But it shall come to pass mm -hmm. if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If we don't listen to the voice of the Lord our God, read. To observe to do all his commandments. Because sometimes the Lord, he's, he's, he's loud. Yeah. Sometimes he's he's booms he's right, but he says if we don't listen to do his commandments, so he didn't he didn't leave us open to, to guess or figure out what he meant. He told us plainly, do my commandments. If you don't do my commandments, come on, and his statutes and his statutes, which means the breakdown or the understanding of the commandments. A lot of times we say uh, 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 homosexuality is okay if you got a good heart. That's not what his commandments say. That's not the statute of the commandment that said that's an abomination so he didn't leave us open to guess our own understanding of his commandments he that's said it and he meant what he said and he understood and he has a meaning for what he said just like when you say so you mean it ain't for somebody else to turn it around make it something else and then call it okay right you meant what you say you mean what you say same as our father watch this which i command thee which this moses was told by god to command the israelites come on this day uh -huh. that all these curses all these what all these curses shall come upon thee uh -huh. and overtake thee and overtake us all these curses now i read you one curse i read you one curse because sister i know that you you were you've been to school in a time where before that was removed that's been removed now the history of our people that's been removed they took that out now but so you can understand plainly what this bible said so I wanted to start with that, but it's a Deuteronomy 28 is all curses, right? All from 15, verse 15 on down to 68, all curses. Watch this. I'm gonna show you another curse. Re give me verse 32. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 32. All in the Bible. Same Bible you got at home, sister. Same Bible. Watch this. Come on. Thy sons and thy daughters. Your sons and your daughters. Same people who went in the slave ships. Your sons and your daughters. Come on shall be given uh -huh. unto another people uh -huh. and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long uh oh that's the israelites give me deuteronomy one and one because i keep saying this is only the bible is only speaking that's to the right. israelites i keep saying that i'm going to show you the, i'm going to show you god says that he don't care he ain't talking about nobody else he ain't talking about nobody else. That's like the, somebody else hear me speaking, but I'm talking to you. A lot of people, a lot more people than just you can hear me, right? But that's like somebody else say that what I'm saying, sister, I'm going to give you $1,000. Now they heard it, that mean, that mean it belonged to them? Teach. No, that don't mean that. I'm still talking to you. They just overheard it. Watch this. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1. Come on. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Unto all Israel. The Bible ain't talking to nobody else. Give me Amos 3 and 1. Give me Amos 3 and 1. It says the same exact thing. Even in the last book, a lot of people say, a lot of people say, well, y'all reading from the Old Testament. We get it in the New Testament too. We get, well, let's get, we're going to get it in the New Testament next. Come on. The book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 1. Uh -huh. Hear this word uh -huh. that the Lord has spoken against you. Uh 
Uh -huh. Oh, children of Israel. Uh -oh. He's still talking about Israel. You can go all throughout this Bible. Right. Old, new, middle, between, halfway, quarter, seven-eighths, wherever you want to go. He's still talking to his children. That's right. Come on. Against the whole family, uh -huh. which I brought up. From the land of Egypt. Just in case somebody was confused. No, no, no. Them people I brought out of Egypt. Those people. Right. That's who the Lord is speaking to. Come on. Saying, mm -hmm. you only have I known. Read that again. You only have I known. The Bible says what now? You only have I known. Come on. Of all the families of the earth. Did you know that was in the Bible? We've been lied to thoroughly, sister. Right. When I say th we've been lied to thoroughly, that's why Christianity has existed since we got off those boats and ain't nothing changed for us. We still slaves here. We still slaves. We, we actually so bad off now, we don't even remember that happened to us. See. Ask one of these young people walking around if they remember this. Here, ask them. We do it every day. Sister, this is what we do. And you know what they say? I don't know what is that. That's what they say. Them, them your people on slave ships. What you mean slave ships? That's what, it's unbelievable, sis. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy. But because we're not taught this, that's how they're able to, that's how they're able to brainwash the generations that come after you. That's right. That's how. That's how. Come on, was that it on that? No, sir. Come on, watch this. Therefore, I will punish you uh -huh. for all your iniquity. Do you whip the kids up the street? But you whip your kids? If they get out of line? That's right. What about the kids around the corner? You ain't gonna whoop them, sis? Can't whoop them. Can't whoop them. Them ain't your kids. Right. Read this again. This is the most, this is God talk right here. Watch God talk about his, his dealing with his kids. Come on. Verse 2. You only have I known uh -huh. of all the families of the earth. That word known means raised, means taught, means cried for, means was angry with, means taught to do better. That's what that means. Right. Known, no, not just oh, see somebody off. No, he got that's our father. Right. He raised us. He taught us how to act. Don't you run out in that street? He, yeah, God did that with us. That was Moses, and before Moses, that was Abraham, and before Abraham, that was Noah. Before Noah, that was Adam. Right. Only have we, only has God known. Uh, only God have known us of all the fa of all His people that He created. He only knew us. He only raised us. Only we are His children. Come on. Therefore. I will punish you for all your iniquity. That's why the Lord is only punishing us. That's why when we look around, we say, all the evil that the so-called white races, why this ain't happening to them? All the evil that so-called Chinese done to us, why that ain't happening to them? All the evil that the Arab man doing to us or did to us in the sub-Saharan slave trade, why that ain't happening to them? Teach. Only, only God's children can be punished on biblical scales, on God-like scales. Right. That's slavery. That slavery. And it's because of that. Watch this. Go to Deuteronomy 28. Watch this. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 45. Watch this. I'm going to show you that this means that only you are the children of Israel. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 45. Moreover, all these curses uh -oh. shall come upon thee uh -huh. and shall pursue thee uh -huh. and overtake thee. That means because some of us, we think we get enough money and these curses don't pertain to us. Ask Oprah about that when she got threw out of store for being black. You can't buy in the store, nigga. Yeah, that happened in France. Yep. That happened to Oprah Winfrey, the richest one, one of the richest women on the earth. Make it plain. That happened to her. Ask LeBron James about that. Right. When the same thing happened to him. These curses shall pursue you and overtake you because we don't listen to God. Right. Come on. Till thou be destroyed. And we are thoroughly destroyed, sister. We are. We are destroyed. If we God's children, how are we? How do we resemble that today at all? Right. At all? How? Yeah. On what level? Right. Watch this. Because thou hearken is not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Because we don't listen is why we destroy. Come on. To keep His commandments uh -huh. and His statutes. But just a side note. All throughout this Bible, no matter where you go, old, new. You will not find religion. You will find commandments. That's right. You will find commandments. You will find statutes and judgments. Not Christianity. Not Islam. Not Buddha. Not Catholic. Not Baptist. Not all these. You don't find these things. Right. 
you don't see that God gave us laws, statutes, and commandments. Come on. To keep his commandments and his statutes, which he commanded thee. Uh -huh. Verse 46. And they and the curses, come on, shall be upon thee uh -huh. for a sign. Uh oh, the curses shall be upon our people, the Israelites, for a sign. So even though you were put to death if you were caught trying to learn to read a word. Even though you so far from your from your original heritage, you so far, you so far from your original language, you so far from your original understanding, right? Even even though God has left you a sign, He has left you a sign, and it's in your book and your history also. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.